In this video, we will show that the limit does not exist by the two path test. So we are given a limit right here. We need to show that it doesn't exist. To start off, since both of these values are zeros, if you think back to the equation y equals mx plus b, b is going to be zero. Therefore, y is equal to mx because the intercept is zero. Now, back to here, every time you see a y, you are going to substitute it with mx. So, lim x as x and y approaches zero and zero, you have x squared times mx squared over x to the fourth power plus 2 times mx to the fourth power. Now, you can rewrite this because you could distribute the square to m and to x. Same as here, you can distribute the square, the fourth power to m and to x. So you are going to have x squared times m squared times x squared over x to the fourth power plus 2m to the fourth power plus x to the fourth power. Okay? And the reason why you don't distribute the 2 is because PEMDAS, you do the exponents first. Alright, now with this you can combine the like terms. Therefore, you are going to have x to the fourth power times m squared over x to the fourth power times 1 plus 2m to the fourth power. Okay? And now, we can cancel out x to the fourth power. We are left with m squared to over 1 plus 2m to the fourth power. And you see how m is a constant? So since m is a constant, the limit will be different for different values of m. Therefore, by the two path test we did just now, the limit does not exist. So I'm going to write this down. Since m is a constant, the limit will be different for different values of m. Therefore, by the two path test, The limit does not exist. And there you go.